Nasdaq hundred almost traded with a uh, or I can say you, it is traded in a range bound manner with a modest bullishness as of now. It is now come closer towards fifteen one fifty while US thirty is also stayed almost flat with a modest bearish bias. So now what to expect from US thirty and Nasdaq hundred today? How to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Those who have watched the first update with the Asia and Europe session must have profited so far with the selling options. Now, which position you should take with the US markets? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Let's start first Nasdaq hundred followed with Dow Jones. Watch till now. See if you look at. I will come to the daily charts later. Let's first start with the hourly charts. If you look at the hourly charts, see the rise here. Retracement, flat bottom. It is trying to rise. Once it stays beyond fifteen one sixty, you can buy again. And this time we can look forward to two hundred two twenty zone. That is a greater resistance zone. Yes, beyond fifteen one sixty, more bullishness. First, you should watch out as the double top, and then I will look forward to two hundred two twenty levels. And if you recall, multiple times I, in my weekly and yesterday's review, I had mentioned that fifteen two hundred two fifty is the greatest resistance zone for Nasdaq, and as long as it stays below, possibility of a reversal will exist. The stock is still rising. MACD is bearish; it can possibly converge crossover. RSI is rising as well. Coming to two hour charts, if you look at two hour charts. See, price waited for the moving average to come upside. It has now taken the support here, and it is looking to rise. But I will wait for it to give a breakout. It has to give a breakout now. See how strong is the support here, and that is why a selling entry below fifteen one hundred can be taken for fifteen zero six zero fifteen thousand levels. At the same time, on the upside, it can still give a breakout. Remember, it is looking upward. A breakout here is going to be stronger one because the Bollinger Bands have narrowed here. The stock is still rising. MACD is divergent and bearish. It is looking downwards as of now. RSI was overbought. It has come out of the overbought zone. Coming to three, look at three R charts. Lower highs, lower lows. It can still reverse completely. It can move towards fifteen one hundred and below that a sharper drop towards fifteen zero six zero five zero levels and fifteen thousand levels can be expected. On the three R charts, it is still staying divergent from the moving average. Also, one must note that right now it is trading with modest bullish bias. Stock is still flat. MACD has crossed over at the top, trying to trade with divergence, trying to trade with bearishness. And remember, this crossover has come at a certainly higher levels. It can continue with the drop on the downside. RSI is overbought. It can try to cool down. Coming to four R. Likewise, on the four R chart, see lower highs are done. If this reverses from here, it should break below fifteen one hundred, and then more bearishness. As long as it stays above fifteen one hundred levels, the chances for a rise or a breakout exist. One can buy here at one sixty levels, but then we have to trade with extreme caution for two hundred and two fifty zone. The greatest resistance exists there, and it can reverse achieving those levels. Mark my words, it can reverse achieving those levels. Thus, you have to trade with extreme caution. Stock is still dropped here. MACD has crossed over at the top, trying to trade with divergence and bearishness. It can possibly look forward to a drop here. RSI is overbought, and hence may try to cool down. Coming to the day now. Before I move to the daily charts, if you want to learn this art of trading, you can join my mentorship batch. Twenty seventh batch is going to start on twenty eighth of November. Limited seats are available. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My Telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can get the details of the batch by visiting our platform www. forex. dot. And this is that platform where on the front page itself you can find out on the features tab uh, the details of the batch, the timings, the curriculum, and Everything is available here, and at the same time, at the bottom there is a payment tab. You can pay here itself directly via card. Also, you can join my webinar. The weekly webinar has started this coming this Sunday, and the first webinar itself was successful. We have delivered the insights and uh, responded to the queries which everyone was curious about regarding the market insights. And if you want to learn, if you want to join, you can register here for the webinar. And this paid format, multiple features, including the breaking stories, including the economic calendar, the charts, live charts are available here. And this is related to anything which is getting traded across the globe is available here. You can book a call with the expert. You can, if you think that you need a guidance or consultation with respect to any of your existing position or a futuristic trade or analysis you want me to make, you can book an appointment with me. And yes. uh the discussion forums is most important where you get the summary of the analysis and where you can discuss with the like minded traders and take an informed decision thus visit the platform forex on dot and in order to be a part of our signal channel reach out to me via telegram or email now see what has happened on the daily chart so far higher lows are seen 
and lower highs are seen. It, it is just seen consolidating here. Below 15100 is where more bearishness. I will wait for the lower lows to get achieved here. Lower highs, lower lows, possibility for it to continue towards 15,040, 15,000 levels exist here. But I will recommend you to sell only at 15,000. 100 levels below which slight bearishness towards 1508075 levels first target 15040 the next and 15000 levels to be seen the next targets the stock i stick is overbought it may try to cool down further macd is divergent and bullish rsi staying flat thus a buying entry above 15160 with a caution note that 15180 200 220 250 levels are the resistances yes as long as 200 250 is not breached you should put a 20 point trailing stop loss and the prices might reverse take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at Dow. now look at us 30 on the early charts drop retracement is still staying in this bearish channel i will wait for it to break out below 33080 levels you can sell here at for 33 uh 33980 i'm saying 33980 you can sell expect 33950 900 now 900 is something which is achievable and in fact 800 is achievable these are achievable targets just you have to put a 50 point trailing stop loss the stock is stick comfortable macd bearish rsi looking downwards trying to stay bearish here coming to two hrs consistent red candles here previous candle was a swing candle with the double top suggests that bearishness might continue here for a while towards 33900 possibility is there the stock I stick at bottom, MACD is divergent and bearish, RSI is looking downwards, coming to 3 hour Now on the 3 hour chart, see double top here in the previous candle, suggests that the bearishness might prevail and this candle may give a breakout towards at least 33,950 and 33,900 levels. You have to watch out carefully, it can erase the gains towards 33,850 and 800 levels as well. Possibility of a drop exists here. If you look at stock i think this is staying flat macd is divergent macd is bearish it is looking downwards as of now and this crossover has come at a slightly higher level so it may continue with the bearish bias rsi was overbought it has cooled down a bit coming to four hour charts on the four hour charts likewise uh see multiple red candles and a possible conversion towards 33 900 levels is what i will look forward to in fact we may see 850 as well the stock has to get bottom. MACD has crossed over. Trading with divergence and bearishness looking downwards. Bearishness may prevail. RSI is overbought trying to cool down. Coming to the daily. Now on the daily charts, even interesting part is lower lows are still there. 33,950 can still be expected. But at the same time, see candle is started flat and a complete reversal can be seen. It can try to move towards the already pre preceding two candles. We have seen double top levels. Thus chances for it to break on the downside exist more. I will look forward to 33,900. In fact, 33,800 levels. So once it stays below specifically 33,950, one can expect more bearishness there. And I will recommend you to sell at 33,980 itself. The stock I think overbought MACD divergent and bullish RSI is flat. So looking at this, I will recommend you to sell at 33,980. Expect 33,950, 33,900, 850, 800. As long as 800 is there, just put a 50 points trailing stop loss and expect it to continue with the downward move. On the upside, I will recommend you to buy here at 33,080 levels. Expect 33... Uh, See, beyond, oh, sorry, 34,080 levels, you can buy here and expect it to rise towards 34,140, 150 zone. And if it breaks past the preceding day's high, you can say that it is turning or it is reversing and it can continue to stay bullish from there. Thus, take your trades accordingly. We may see swings. Lower highs, lower lows is what I will look forward to. Somewhere here, it can try to achieve 120 to 130 zone and continue with the downside there so take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship badge join my signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description join my signal channel and just stay tuned with the live market updates you are joining my free telegram channel thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you